today we're having solar panels put in. We haven't got mains electricity here. It is prohibitively expensive. We were looking at about 37,000 plus the VAT. I've um, been looking at different options over the years. There's not been anything um, suitable for what I really wanted, which is effectively all my lights. Um, practically a domestic use, um, but there was nothing really out there. Um, but then I managed to find um, the Puragen product and it looked ideal for what I wanted and it ticked all the boxes. It's a fairly routine uh, PV installation, it's fairly straightforward. The only challenges you have to overcome are sighting of the array, but that's not unusual. Uh, in this case it's separate from the stable block in an adjacent field and then routing the cables um, safely back to the stable block into the ECIS and then um, wiring it all in. Well we had, a, we had an initial chat on the phone and then um, arranged to come in and do a site visit to see if I had a good place to put the um, panels. Then he proposed a, a quote and um, came up with a plan of how many panels I needed to meet my needs um, and we, we took it from there. So we offered to do um, uh, a complete change of all her lighting and add in a few bits and pieces where uh, it needed in enhancing. I've now got floodlights all the way around the yard, I've got the motion sensors, I've also got security light lighting around the yard as well and I've replaced all of the, the yard lights and the stable lights with um, LED lights so it's really bright light now. LED lighting is, is what's well known, well documented, it's low energy, it, it's an intense bright light, it's instantaneous uh, and it's gone from initial days where it was quite a focused light to now a uh, broad beam. So you, as you'll see in the stable blocks, uh, the fluorescent tubes we put in, LED tubes, are almost daylight conditions. The uh, floodlights are fantastic, um, low voltage again, uh, and light up the whole stable yard. We searched around the industry and we found a really good system from Anglia LED Lighting, who provided us with a complete set of uh, LED tubes, the floodlights, the PIRs and all the associated systems that come with that. Instant power, it's clean and it doesn't cost me a penny now, it's all free. The Antares Solar EKIS box is the heart of the, the off-grid system. It receives the power in from the, the PV panels out in the field and then redirects that, recharges the batteries and then the batteries feed back into an, a built-in inverter which then feeds the AC uh, uh, through a, a small built-in consumer unit in the ECUS box, which we take off and feed into the, the premises. We've just done the insulation resistant test on the floodlight circuits that we just added in today. And as you can see, at 999 mega ohms, there's no breakdown in the insulation on any of the wires. We're very happy about it. Uh, when the panels have been installed, we do a number of tests. On the panels alone we do four tests, voltage, current, sunshine and temperature. These are all to uh, find out whether the panels are working correctly. Uh, this is a, a temperature gauge, uh, just there's two little laser dots on it and we test the temperature of each panel to make sure that uh, the panels work in properly but that works in conjunction with the other four tests. Well, it's all powered by the sun so um, whereas before I'd be maybe using anything up to 15 to 20 litres of fuel a week. Now I'm I'm not using any of that at all and also the servicing costs um, have gone as well because my use of the generator has dropped right off. It's really really changed my life and made life an awful lot easier. Um, you, you just don't think anymore about oh I haven't got any lights I'm doing something in the dark. Of course we've got a fridge freezer, telly, um, microwave, everything that you would have if you had a main supply. I definitely recommend Puragen, um, they've done exactly what I wanted to do, it was all done quickly on time and really efficiently.